So the previews for Princess Peach Showtime are officially out now. Yes, Nintendo flown out some media outlets to go play the game. Um, so we got some gameplay for you guys from Nintendo, Nintendo Life, and also IGN showing off some more extended gameplay of some of the earlier in the game transformations and worlds. And yes, I gathered tons of information from all the different previews and kind of just put together what I have pretty much gotten from this. And be completely honest with you, uh, because I know a lot of these previewers um, um, they still have to, you know, give Nintendo some love and stuff. So I'm being brutally honest with everything that I've heard and everything that I've seen and what I think this game is actually going to turn out to be. So if you're excited for this, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Princess Peach Showtime and Nintendo in general. There's a lot of stuff to unpack here, uh, but let's just get right into it. So... Princess Peach Showtime, at the core, is a children's game. This is something that I've heard from multiple different outlets, and the word children and kids is brought up at least a million times in every single preview that I've ever watched for this game. Seriously, it just seems like this game is kids focused and I, that's completely fine you know a lot of games from Nintendo you could say is under that category but the fact that it's brought up so many times in so many previews really just emphasizes just how easy and how kid friendly I guess you could say this game is so let's just start there so the first and really main complaint that I've heard from across the board is this game is mind numbingly easy like extremely easy where you will normally just have the run button and an action command and you'll just run around pressing that action command whether you have a sword whether it's peach's ribbon that's pretty much all you have of course you know depending on the actual transformation you'll get different things with that action command sometimes you might be able to get a new you know jump or wall jump or something like that for ninja peach but for the most part it's running and pressing that command to do a specific action based on that transformation think of conquer's bad fur days contact sensitive where depending on your transformation and where you are in the game, you press a button and you get some type of ability that comes out because of that area that you're in. Like for instance, in the ninja area, you might be able to camouflage yourself on the back wall only in this area, of course, because it's the ninja themed world. And all you gotta do is press that one action button in order to do so. So yeah, it's just about pressing that action button and moving around and taking out enemies and exploring the little 2.5D area that reminds me a lot of Paper Mario. Yes, apparently this game is extremely easy and there's little to no challenge at all through any of the battles through any of the kind of just getting to the end of the level there's really nothing at all that's really going to challenge most players even children from what i've seen so far um now with that said there are collectibles and these collectibles remind me a lot of luigi's mansion 2 and 3 where there's tons of crystals that you have to collect in each area and it looks like a ton those that played through the previews said that some of these are very easy to find and even the harder ones aren't too difficult but even combing some of the areas in the playthrough they actually missed a couple and wanted to get back to find out where they were yeah you'll see some laying around maybe some that takes you to like a little mini level like a gauntlet where you have to take out some enemies in order to get a gym but yeah it does give older adults a reason to go back and play or just people that want more experience in the game or want more of a challenge compared to kind of the easy overall gameplay getting from beginning to end so i'm glad that this is in the game for sure yeah there's even some sections where you have to collect little pieces in order to make the whole gym so that's cool uh but yes another thing that i've been hearing is this game is just stunning to look at it's a beautiful well-designed game and it's given me feelings of Wooly World and Crafted World, where those are two good feel games that do feel really good. You know, everything is just made out of yarn or crafted pieces of construction paper or cut out characters, props, and background sets. And that's kind of what's going on here. Every single stage and background and everything is just propped together with like wooden planks and stuff. And it feels like it really is a stage play. And it really taps into that idea the same way Wooly World and Crafted World does with its respected games. And and I love games that feel like that, where it's just not all realistic, it's just kind of made with an artistic eye, where every little detail of the level can be seen to be made properly to match the theme of the game. It's very evident. You can see like bolts or nails in the floorboards, and you can see like the cardboard cutouts in the background and the shadows behind them, the strings holding them up, propping them in the air. You can even see the strings off of like Peach's horse on the cowboy section. You can even see the spotlights from the top of the screen just kind of homing down on Peach, and it's just so much little detail, and I absolutely absolutely love that. I do want to go back to the collectibles for a second because apparently it sounds like when you collect all of these gems, you can actually trade them in for costume customization. Now, unfortunately, it's not like Kirby and the Forgotten Land.
and giving you new abilities and new things to do with your transformation. It's really just all cosmetic. It seems like you're able to add some things to, you know, Peach's outfits to make them look different or something. So maybe for that mighty hero Peach transformation, we could get like a Samus costume for her. That would be so cool. Or maybe just different outfits that change the way it looks. I think that would be pretty awesome as well. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a shame that it doesn't add anything to the actual gameplay. Uh, you know, I would have loved like it do something different that required you to go back through the stages with those new outfits. Like for instance, it gave Peach a stronger punch in order to break a specific boulder in order to find a new collectible somewhere. I think that would have enhanced something a lot more, but I am glad at least there's costumes. There is a reason to collect these things in the first place, so I can't be extremely upset by that. One thing I found extremely strange, and maybe it's just me, but as I was watching all these gameplays, I was like, why are all these content creators putting these weird dialogues above all the characters? It's just strange. Why are they doing this? I just want to see the gameplay. Until I realized this is the gameplay. They just put these weird lines of text above the characters, and I guess that's how they speak. And I don't know if it's the font or the way the text looks. It just, it's strange. I, I can't really explain it. It just looks like the most basic font slapped over the characters, and I just don't get it. I feel like it'd be better if there was like a speech bubble around it or something, and it just like feels like the text is easily blended in with the environment, and it's sometimes hard to even read. It's just so fast and stuff, and it just doesn't feel cleaned up right. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's a combination of the font and the fact that there's like nothing around it. Like even like a very much opaced bubble would work. I, I, it's yeah. I saw this clip from Nintendo Life, and please tell me it doesn't look like this text is just edited in for the sake of the video. Like I thought it was like a humor thing that they were putting on the video. Even when the enemy flies in, the way the text moves in, it's like it even moves as if it was like cheaply animated. Now it's a minor gripe to have, but I don't know. When you're just passing every single enemy and character in the game and they all have dialogue that pops up in that text box, it's just funny to me. I mean, even Stella has a proper text box sometimes. I don't know why the other enemies and characters don't have that. Something else this game has is a hub world where you're able to run around the theater and go into any door that you want and complete any level that you want in any order within that section. I'm sure there's going to be other floors and stuff kind of like Princess Peach's Castle from Mario 64. Apparently there's nothing to do here. It doesn't let you talk to anybody or do anything, but you can see a costume shop off in the background. And yes, this does look like it is where we are actually able to change our costume after collecting a certain amount of crystals. I'm hoping there's actually some other fun things to do in this hub world, like maybe there's some extra rooms that do different things or maybe some different characters to talk to or different aspects of the game. We're just gonna have to wait and see for that. Just for some small other details, it looks like Princess Peach will have lives. She'll have five hearts, so you can actually take damage. Yes, it just looks like the game is incredibly charming, but incredibly easy, and it looks like it was one of those games that we are gonna be extremely fast. Yes, it's very easy, very simple, and basic, and seems to be based for children or a family style of game. And a lot of the people that actually went in to play through the preview had stated that this game is not the next huge big game that we've been waiting for. This isn't a triple A crazy title like the next new Mario, Splatoon, Zelda, or anything along those lines. This is definitely a side project from Nintendo and something to hold us off until the next big project. But yes, let me know in the comments down below what you think of these previews. Are you more excited to play the game? Are you less excited? Definitely let me know down below. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Princess Peach Showtime and Nintendo in general. And like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.